Okay, so next thing we need to do is um, go ahead and put support right there. So it's going to be a support map fragment. And we need to extend fragment activity. And there's one of the reasons why we needed to add that support.v4 uh, library right here. Uh, because we have to extend it. And we also have to implement, uh, what is it, the location, location listener. And of course, we have to implement all the abstract methods. And we're going to go ahead and set up a Google map. And the way we set this up is we actually get the map fragment. And from the map fragment, we get the map. <laughs> all right, I'll show you. So we get support. Uh, yeah, so it's support map fragment. MF for map fragment or whatever you want to call. And I believe it's get. oh yeah there it is get support and next all we have to do is just get the the I, uh, the view <laughs> and let's see and that's it all right so now we set Google map equal to map fragment dot get map and now you have a map all right so now we can actually start using it so to set the location um, Uh, set my lo location and and I'm gonna go ahead and set the map type and the way you do that is you do Google map dot you can just do dot norm or normal type all right so now let me show you what that looks like okay <coughs> all right sorry some of the screen is cut off there but um, but you'll be able to see Okay, see now you now you can see right up here when I click it. Uh, it shows right where my location currently is. Now my next thing that we need to do is we can actually add a point on here and that's what we'll do next.